Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your Lord of Video Games, and welcome to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel 3. Last time, we actually did a lot. We finished some stuff in Crossbell and actually helped Tio in the Geo front. And once again, Brave Order are essential. I keep forgetting them. This new system is gonna take me a while to get used to. But. Without further ado, let's actually continue with the story. So, at Michelin. It's tough. The Intelligence Vision and RMP are working together, and they're not giving us that many chances. Now that I think about it, they have three others besides the Governor General. Yeah, I knew they'd be a tough group to handle, but I didn't think it'd be this hard. Randy, to you. So, this is where you were. Yeah, Tio Tots here is waiting for Tita. I also need to speak with Alyssa regarding the operation of the Arcus 2. Oh, and by the way, Reen, might I speak with the Ashen Knight later? Yeah, of course. Um, what are you curious about him? Yes, I'm interested in seeing the machine frame made entirely of Zemurian ore, of course. But as an engineer, I'm also curious how is, how, m how such advanced machine intelligence is even possible. Yeah, talking with Balamar is pretty much like talking with a normal person. Uh, I've spoken with him as well. He gives the impression of a traditional warrior. Right? His personality makes him seem like he's some mixture from the past for sure. Yeah, though his speech was a little awkward up until a year ago. I remember that. I'm talking about Valimar. Oh, I guess I get another scene here. It looks like there are no issues with the output. Since the Hector is so heavy, it may be hard to maintain stability. For now, I'm going to gather information from the Draken. Once you're back on campus, I'll concert the professor and Mint. Oh yeah, Mint came to help out. But is she really going to be okay working as Professor Schmidt's apprentice? I know him personally and he can be a bit... much. Yeah, still, that's no testament against his mechanical genius. He might not care about anything other than his research, but I think... I can think of a few other people that are like that as well. Hmm, engineers act the same the world over. But I'm jealous. If only I was an engineer too, I could have helped out the branch campus. I guess I have more of my mother's blood than my father's. Oh, but I guess I could help out things in the business side of things. She seems to know Instructor Reen pretty well. I wonder what kind of relationship they have. What are you talking about, new equipment? What? Are you talking about new equipment? There. Ah! Uh, don't surprise me like that! <laughs> you don't need to act surprised. Alyssa was telling me the specs of the new equipment. New equipment? Do you mean that device? Is this like a... An additional unit so that so that you can connect to Panzer Soldats? Sure is. It was the development by the RS 4th De Development Division. It uses technology co-developed by ZCF in Liberal. That's a first. After hearing that, I'm really looking forward to seeing what it does. You could tell me the details tonight, right? Yes, I'll finish the testing tonight and report to the instructors. Can't wait to see what you think of all of it. What is this? We got a new master quartz here. Bloom attacks, crafts, inflict abnormalities. Hmm. It's, oh my lord, this is insane in ATS. We should use the bice to head where the cryptic was spotted. Hmm. Are we all set to leave camp now? Yes, we are. We're ready and set.
Rooney and the other pushed the two orbital bison to the highway in front of the camp. There they decided to go over how to operate them. Those are pretty much all the basics. For everything else, you'll just have to try it out yourself to get used to it. Who's going to drive the other one? Oh me, I will. I shall. Ooh. Er, uh, are you sure? It seems similar to riding a horse, so I think I would be better suited for it. Nuh uh, I'm way more cut out for this. I have tons of practice driving orbital cars from the police academy. Orbital cars? That is impressive, but these bikes seem a bit different from them, wouldn't you say? Ugh, if you're a real man, you'll quit your whining. I couldn't ride the horse last time, so I'm not gonna give this up. Yeah, let's let her. <laughs> they certainly seem to be close. Come on, you two, try not to get so heated. <sighs> Fine, just try to drive safely. Okay, just leave it to me. Does that mean I'll be riding behind you, Instructor Ring? <laughs> I shall be joining the sidecar. Wow, that is... <laughs> look, <laughs> look at Kurt! <laughs> Let's get moving, everyone. Our destination is the lake shore south of the side road. Roger that. Let's go. And off we go! And the orbital bike, the orbital bike, a little differently. Well, R1 to forward, L1 to back up. You can get off the bike when you want. Alright, 1% near the bike will allow you to change the bike settings. Ah, okay, yeah. Alright. That's perfectly fine. This is so pretty. Alright, let's stop here. Woo! I could seriously get addicted to this fe to feeling the weight in my hair like this. Huh. Watching you drive from the sidecar is so stressful. I won't have any hair left before long. That said, I can... I can at least tell you how experienced driving. Oh yes, you're quite skilled, Lady Yuna. <laughs> I'm sure Alyssa would be happy to know you're enjoying it so much. Alyssa, she's so gorgeous and she's also a bitch like me, so I totally like her. She's petite, she has a great body, she's super stylish, and those both skills of hers. Plus, she's the daughter of the famous RF group, right? Honestly, I'm super curious what your relationship with her is now. Hmm? Such a passionate embrace in front of your students. Regardless of who it was, you have no excuse, Instructorine. <laughs> Please don't blame Masterine. Lady Alyssa has grown into such a beautiful woman that a hug from her would be fatal for any man. What? No, I wasn't thinking about that at all. Er, uh, well... Maybe. He corrected himself. I heard it. He let it slip. Well, let's put Instructor Reen's relationship aside for the moment. <laughs> Why, hello there, Master Kurt of the Vander family. Is there perhaps something on my face? Pardon me if I'm being rude, but I must ask. Who are you? Ah. <laughs> the steel wires you bound that magic knight in were more than a little surprising. <laughs> Such is expected of a maid of the Reinford family. Though perhaps you remain unconvinced? That technique was outside of every martial art I know of. Still is extremely useful in battle and highly adaptable besides. If you aren't a martial artist, a soldier, or even a Jaeger, then... Yep, she's part of Ouroboros. <laughs> Hehe, 
just what I'd come to expect from the Vander family. I believe it is just as you suspect. <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? It seems Kurt has already seen through her. He may have heard a few things from his brother too. But now I am simply a maid who serves the Reinford family, nothing more, nothing less. My origin has no bearing of the love and loyalty I have for them. Therefore I shall slay I shall slave. I shall serve my lady's underclassmen, the new class seven, with all my heart. It's a bit complicated, but the RF group and the Imperial government know both know about her already. Including the RF group's chairman. <sighs> Very well. I'm not yet convinced, but I'll let it go for now. What are you all talking about? I'm so lost here! We can discuss it again later on. Our destination is close at hand. We'd best get going. Yeah, let's just do that. Alright. Ooh, she can reach. Oh, new enemies. We strike. Alright, let's be sure to... Oh Shadow my god. Stitch. It's my turn. Can I like, kill it in one shot? And like scan it like that? I don't think so. Yeah. Bracing Racken Monkey. My turn. Huh. Here I go! It's my turn. And break. It's my turn. I love to break my it to turn. you. Yeah. We're getting achievements Behold left and right. Vander style. Yeah, the only let's play I've actually done on this, this channel that up in a blind let's one has been Trails of Cold Steel one. But that's just because I actually Looks wanted like to cover that one. so bad. Be on guard. It's strong. Is it? Ooh. You can't escape. Fire! It's mm. my turn. How does this suit you? This is our chance. Your assistance, please. Yes. <laughs> Down it I'm goes. Up. I just killed it. Did I just hit him with Everyone death? Okay. Apparently. I must train even more. Oh wow! I hit him with death. Whoops. Oh, the Sepif. Nice. Let me actually get these things. Let's get going. Go, go. Woohoo! This feels great! <laughs> Pay attention to where you're going. <laughs> I haven't felt this kind of rush in ages. I don't quite understand why, but this feeling is pleasant. I love it. I love them all, they're so adorable. How does this suit you? This is our chance. Too slow. This is the end. It's my turn. There. I'm up. Huh. It's down. It's mine. Good job, Yuna. Hmm, I guess I wasn't bad. <laughs> Treasure oh, located. See. Megalith fall. Ah, oh, treasure chest. It's cozy socks. Yeah, I'm gonna need to grind up a little bit after this episode. Mm, this is where we're supposed to go. Mike's oh. are back. The crypto was spotted on the lakeshore down below. It seems we must walk from here on. 
Yeah, let's park our bikes around here. This is where the special support section fought a cryptic two years ago. Yeah, they said it looked like a turtle. I don't sense it, but... Yes, there's most definitely something here. Really? Even though you don't sense anything? It's kind of like a hunch you develop with enough experience. This place reeks of danger. Our bodies are simply reacting to it. D don't scare us like that. It seems necessary to investigate the surroundings. Yeah, if you notice anything, report it immediately. But first... Oh, oh my god, those teeths. What the heck is that? Get away from me. Turn around for me. <laughs> Now's our chance. How does this suit you? I'm getting I'm getting so much breaks with this. But the time I say it, I don't get it. Oh well that happened. It's mine! Very well. Nope. Battle scope it. Huh. Here I go. You can't escape. Fire! Wide open. An opening. Leave this to me. My turn. I'm How are you not dead? What? Crimson Slash! There we go. All right, nice work. Globby fat. Nothing stands out over here either. Fishing bait, but I'm fishing first. This might be a good spot for fishing. Yeah, okay. Let me... There we go. There. Got a bite. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, I got a shark? What? I got it. Hi, shark. I did get a shark. Something here. Huh. Nothing here. These boot prints most likely belong to a fisherman. But I can't There's fish here. There's an eroded here. nook toward the far end. Should we take a look? Yeah. Good call. Oh, there it is. Doesn't seem like there's anything. There's something all the way over there. I don't know if you guys see it. That thing. What's this? It's a flower. This is. Scarlet grass? It's beautiful, but unsettling. It looks like it's shining. Oh yeah, I think I remember hearing about grass like this showing up when Crossbill declared its independence. The people in the SSS said they saw weird blue grass where the cryptics appeared. Seriously? I believe I saw a report that mentioned that at the intelligence division. Yeah, it's Pleroma grass. It started appearing here when Crossbill declared its independence, it was thought to be related to the Azure tree. Oh yeah, that's right. But if this kind of red, what does that mean? 
Everyone, be on your guard. Oh, there it is. Great. It appeared? Oh, that is... Icy Beast of the Underworld? See, Uncerter? Just like the Magic Knight. It's big. That's not a turtle at all. This is... This is the, this is the same we fought? There will be time for talk later. It's coming. Right. Class 7, prepare for battle. Let's take it down with everything we've got. Right. Watch out. This is a tough one. Oh, boy. <laughs> Lead this to me. An ambush formation that recovers HP and CP. Hmm. It's my turn. Crimson Slash. All right. Scan. <laughs> oh, fifty percent of eight. That's actually pretty good. resistant to almost everything. I've got it down 10,000 HP. Nice. Thanks. Let's do it again then. It's my turn. The butterfly is pretty good. This last four turns. Dance, this recovers so much fly. HP. I'm up. Crimson Slash. Now. It's mine. My turn. Not today. Yes. Oh boy. Um, impede. Do I have impede? How does this suit you? Now. Too slow. Let's go. Crimson Slash! Very well. There we go. That was actually pretty huge. Uh, strike. Ah. There's the break. All right. Break through! Sledgehammer! Here I go! This is gonna hurt. Smash! Wide open! An opening! It's my turn. How does this suit you? Let's go! Crimson Slash! Now! It's mine! 
All right, here we go. This is it. Huh? One more. I'll finish it. Excel Breaker. Witness the severing chains. How is it still the same? Come I'm on. I'm afraid your fate is now sealed. Especially from an Ouroboros agent. Fall into death's embrace! Ooh. There we My go. Blade, calm as still water. Now! <gasps> Seventh slash, fallen leaves. And done. So close. Oh no. No, I didn't. I. Behold, the dual blades of Vander. I didn't mean to hit it. I meant to exit out. I'll end it. Strike! He's gonna hit me so hard now. I'm not taking 10,000 away. <laughs> of course. I really wanted it to reflect it, but, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Now. Wow. I shall go. I had him and I fucked up by hitting Kurt's S. Oh no. I was going to use all Tina's. Oh no. Oh, that would have been the end of it. Oh, that sucks. Damn. Thanks. I'll assist. It's my turn. Uh, take this. There we go. And break. Yeah. Nice. Oh, come on. Brianna. Brianna, activate fire. Now. Too slow. It's my turn. Sit. It's down. Yuna, now. Good. Sit. Ah! Just in case. Oh my god, that now, was so take... close. Ah, uh, I could have ended up so much sooner if I didn't fuck up with Kurt. At least I didn't Hostile die. Suppressed. Continue mission. That's a lot. EXP. Sharon didn't get any. I'm sorry, Sharon. You're already strong enough. All right, got it. Yeah, I did it. I must train even more. Stats up. These are good level. Ups. These are good level ups. More clients for my hand into a sharp blade and brings down a foe. All right. Did we do it? So that was a cryptid. Seems like we're not in danger anymore. Yes, not from Kristen in any event. Cryptid. Good work, everyone. You did well. No, I still have much I need to learn. Much I need to work on. It was evident my physical strength was insufficient. Yeah, compared to Instructor Irene, but also... <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised by you all over again. 
The abilities used to help the old Class 7 during the Civil War. Those were just the tip of the iceberg, weren't they? <laughs> oh, I still don't under I still don't stand a chance compared to Sarah when she's at her full power. After all, my skills are suited for assassinations. They pale in comparison to proper martial arts or skills learned in true battles. Uh, assassination skills? I knew it. Oh dear, perhaps I shouldn't have let that slip. Anyway, let's get a closer look at that grass. Whatever it is, it definitely seems related to the cryptid somehow. Y yes! The scarlet grass. It seems like this is all there is. Yes, nothing else like this was found in a 50 arch radius. What shall we do, Instructor? Seems like our only option is to take it back with us. But first, let's take a few pictures with our Arcus twos. After that, collect it and place it in the survival kit. Be sure not to handle it directly. Got it. I'll take the pictures. <laughs> what efficient teamwork. You all seem like you're familiar with the process. Yeah, this will be our second set of special operations missions. I hope their lessons and trainings are enough to get them through this. That color, though. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. Well then, are we finished investigating here? Yeah, it doesn't seem like there are any more cryptids here. It's a bit concerning that it was that one again, rather than the turtle that appeared before. Oh, right, I was going to ask. Have you and Sharon seen that cryptid before? I had merely heard about it from Lady Alyssa. It's called Unserter. It may have subspecies, or uh, it may be a subspecies of one that appeared during the Civil War. That's... so just like the Magic Knight? It wasn't exactly the same as before, so we shouldn't make a note of that. We should probably return to the camp and report. Understood. Let us head directly there, in that case. Alright, I'll meet you guys back at camp. Yeah, return to camp. There's nothing to do here anymore. Are they going ahead? Listen here. Be careful not to be a bitch. Oh, they're going back to camp and we're just staying? Or... What's going on? Campanella? And it's... Oh, no. McBurn. <sighs> oh, are these two together? Oh, no. Ashen kid and Kruger, huh? <laughs> Not bad, I guess. But I think I'll just focus on the target for now. I'll leave oh, those pain-in-the-ass experiments to him. Things are gonna get interesting if our masked friend starts moving too. Blue Blanc? Oh boy. <laughs> Blue Blanc is coming too. Or are we com are we talking about Lloyd? Is he I don't know. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Why did he tell us to ride ahead of them? What could they be talking about? Something secret, no doubt. I agree, it is concerning, but please keep the bike steady, Yuna. Oh, right. You are driving, remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wind feels just lovely. Riding alone, just the two of us. Oh, I mustn't tell Lady Alyssa. She would be ever so jealous. <laughs> I don't think it's quite that big a deal. But that aside, you can tell me. Hmm? You said you wanted to ride alone with me. There was something you wanted to talk about, right? Something you don't want the students to hear. No, 
something you don't want Alyssa to hear. You truly have grown a lot. Yes, it is exactly as you say. I came along to help because there was something I wanted to tell you. Does it have something to do with Ouroboros? In part, yes, but what I wish to tell you is the tale of a girl. A small girl given the title of Severing Chains. What? We're gonna hear her past? Ah. A girl who was empty. There was an assassin's organization that had existed since the Dark Ages. The Order of the Moonlight Horse. At the young age of 13, the girl was its second most skilled member. What? The only thing she, she had were her title, which had been passed down to her, and the designation, Kruger. She spent her days simply carrying out her missions with soulless eyes. An emotionless assassin doll. Then one day, the Order met its end. At the hand of Ouroboros. Oh. Interesting. That's Leon. Uh, Vita. And that's the faceless that we faced in uh, um, Cold Ste in uh, Cold Steel, uh, Trails in the Sky. At the time, the society was still in its early days, and the two groups were in full conflict behind the scenes. But against the combined assault of the Almighty Conflagration, the Blade Lord, and the Steel Maiden, the Moonlight Horse stood no chance. They were nearly completely destroyed. Whew. Its members, known as the Thousand Oathbreaker and the Golden Butterfly, became the Fourth Anguis and Enforcer Number Three, respectively. So we don't know about Enforcer Number Three? The Fourth Anguis and Enforcer Number Three. While the Empty Girl was welcomed into the Society as Enforcer Number Nine. Hmm. But even after becoming an Enforcer, the girl's life did not change. She obeyed the requests of the Anguis, performing many missions. She was always free to refuse, but as she knew no other way of life, she simply accepted. But it was through that bleak existence that her bond with the Reinford family came to be. The girl was given a mission by the Sixth Anguis to infiltrate a city named Ruhr in the northeast part of the Empire. The mission required her to meet with a certain person but a terrible accident occurred. Don't tell me she's the one who killed Alyssa's the dad. The mission ended in failure. The girl suffered serious injuries, and the other person lost their life. That person was Chairman Arena's husband, <gasps> Lady Elisa's father, Master Franz Reinfurt. Whoa. <laughs> Yet Lady Arena saved the girl, the one whose actions resulted in her husband's death. She even gave her a name. I had never had a name before then. Kruger was simply a designator to differentiate me from others who have held the same title. One would simply change their name as the mission required. That was the way of the Order. But Lady Arena gave me the name, Sharon. Suddenly, this empty girl had a place to belong as a maid of the Reinford family. Since that point, I have continued to serve the Reinfords while still belonging to Ouroboros. I was able to do so thanks to the freedom the society grants its enforcers. All of that. Why tell me all of that? Why now of all times? Alyssa doesn't know any of this, right? <laughs> I simply felt this was a good opportunity. Someday, when you feel the need, please tell Lady Elisa. For you see, there is the possibility that I may not be there for her. What? <laughs> it is merely a possibility. It is absolutely impossible for my love and devotion for the chairman and my lady to ever leave me. Hmm. Oh, but of course, if you and Lady Elisa were to become a couple, I would serve you as your own personal maid as well. <laughs> That's uh, quite the tempting offer. 
Thank you for sharing something so important with me. You've taken care of me, no, of all of us in the old Class 7 for so long. From our everyday life in the dorm to the crisis during the Civil War. So if there's anything I can do to help you, please don't hesitate to ask. Me, the other members of Class 7, and, of course, Alyssa will always be there to help. Masterine. <laughs> you truly have become dependable. Thank However, you. However, for you to say all that to an older woman such as myself is a tad unfair. You're not that old. Perhaps Shush. I should begin serving you as your own personal maid right now. <laughs> Please. Do. <laughs> I love to have you as my personal maid. No. Nothing, nothing evil going on in my mind. She's just so cute. And maids are cute. <laughs> Alright. I think that's enough temptation for the time being. That is a lot of temptation. She's adorable and gorgeous. I didn't expect Scarlet Pleroma grass. No doubt about it, it's the same grass from two years ago. Color's completely different though. You're right, the size and shape are the same. The grass holds the same mysterious energy that supported former President Crush. Do you feel the presence of the higher elements here too? Yes, definitely. Just like the force in Sutherland. Now, this cryptid... Unster. It's just like the ones that appeared in the old schoolhouse's basement and in the Nord Highlands. That on top of the magic night means that creatures from the Empire are appearing here now, too. Sharon, I'm just going to come out and ask you. Can the society do anything like this? Ah. Well, let's see. I should say the possibility is not zero. That said, the society generally has a tendency to pursue orbital technology. It would be a bit strange to them for them to suddenly begin spiritual monsters such as cryptids and dark age constructs like magic knights. I see. Thank you. I feel like I just heard credibly confidential information, but very well. The question remains then, why is Scarlet Pleroma Grass appeared now? It is possible this is the result of the Zero Child. Though she's in hiding, perhaps her miraculous power is manifesting again. No way! It's been confirmed she no longer has that miraculous power. The Intelligence Division made sure of that right after the occupation. Her and Lloyd were made into material witnesses too. Besides, I know her, and she's not the kind of girl who'd do these things. Her personality is irrelevant. There is a chance her powers have returned and are currently out of her control. That's... No, I'm certain Kie Bannings has nothing to do with this. Huh? Kia Bannings. So that is the name of the girl known as the Zero Child. Yes, though her surname is still up for review. She's using his name since she doesn't have a family of her own, yeah? But how can you be so sure she's not involved? We were contacted by the Governor General just now. He was very clear that we had absolutely no need to worry about the bannings at this time. He has requested we investigate the cryptid and the grass under the assumption the society is involved. Such a request. Thank goodness. He should have just told us that when he, we saw him. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Do they know something? <sighs> Why would this have to happen at the same time as the inspection team's visit? It feels like more than a simple coincidence to me. 
Yeah, now that you mention it, has the inspection team already entered Crossbell? Oh, yes, about that. That's... It sounds like engines running, but that means... Everyone, we're going to greet our guests. We're going outside. An airship. Or it could be the enforcers. And is it Ouroboros? It is not Ouroboros. It's the noble. That's Rufus's airship, right? Uh, what? Well, that is something you don't see every day. That's the flagship using the noble alliance during Erebonia civil war. Yep. Correct. That's the Pantagruel. I believe I heard it had been confiscated by the government and given to the Imperial family. Yeah, they use it to travel for official business. Wait a second. Does that mean the inspection team is... That's right. Governor Regnitz will be on the team as a representative of the Imperial government. And Lady Arena will represent the economic circles of Erebonia. And let's... And let's not forget, Princess Alfin and Prince Oliver will be part of the team too. Prince Oliver! Haven't seen him in a while. What are you gonna show me? The Imperial Family's battleship, Pantagruel. Jeez. I still remember this ship is huge. It's going for Orcus Tower? Rufus! Remember when that used to be your ship? Huh? Remember? Douchebag. <laughs> Where are they even gonna land? That ship is huge. Everybody's starting a commotion. I don't see any familiar faces. Feast your eyes, everyone. The Pantagruel's landing boat has launched. As we speak, it's ferrying the inspection team to the tower's rooftop. Hmm. Oh, so that's what they do. Okay. Maki is the father. Oh, and here we have the chairman of the Reinford group, Irina Reinford. Sh it's um. safe to say there isn't anyone more important than her when it comes to Crossbell's economic industry. Obviously, we know who her daughter is, Alyssa. And of course, let's see Prince Oliver. Let's see how much he has changed. Hey, look at my boy. Oh my word, Princess Alfin! Uh, excuse me. Uh, behind Prince Olivert, we have Princess Alfin, the daughter of the Emperor. She is simply an angel. The young woman with her is gorgeous too. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> Why is she here? Why are you here? No, you're gonna get kidnapped again. <laughs> Come on.
That's the princess. She's an angel. The princess is really handsome too. Wow. I don't expect... Wow. I don't expect to see Princess Alvin here. But it figures that your father would be part of the team, Maki is. Yeah, if we didn't know even know about the princess, that means we've fallen behind our information gathering. This trip has way too many unknowns. We'll need to shine a light through the fog if we want to have a successful investigation, inspection. Hmm. Why are they getting all excited about Ellie? They're all nothing but weaklings wagging their tails for the Empire. Don't say that. We all have pride in where we're from. And as Cow's proxy, you have your own duties to fulfill. Hmm. Leave it to me. What? Who are you? Child. Wow. Oh, look how pretty the princess is. She is cute, but... Hmm. She's still an invader. Ha, Tom. I may be leaning closer towards the bad impression. Oh, well. Nothing can be done about her arrival. If we could all just come to a better understanding. He may be right. I can't give up. Vita! <laughs> it seems as though our guests have arrived. The fool and the blazing demon should be nearby as well. Yep, they the are. The original cast has nearly all been swapped out by now. What will you do, Reen? You as well, Emma. Oh, Vita, I missed you. I'm so glad you're safe. I was so worried at the end. I knew she was gonna be alive, but still, she got hurt. That big scary ship, that big ship is scary. Is it safe? A war isn't gonna break out or anything, right? We're well, fine. As long as we got Lloyd with us, we'll be able to stop it. Is it true? Or his dear friends all... Yeah, there's no doubt about it. And who are we gonna pan to? Crow? Huh? Crow? <laughs> Still protecting this place, even if its residents are gone? Well then, all we can do is wait for the snake's next move. I'm also curious to find out what the branch campus is capable of. Crow? Huh? Is that crow? But... Huh? Oh... I'm sorry, but what? Whew. Whew, it's getting hot in here. Oh boy. Whew, Rain, your lover's alive? Is that him? He sounds so similar. Whew, whew. Long live Princess Alphen, Empress of my heart. I didn't expect to see Princess Alphen here. Oh, it's Prince Oliver. I haven't seen him in so long. Imperial Governor Regnitz and Chairman Arena of the RF Group 2. <laughs> well, this is shaping up to be some ritzy shining in. <laughs> it's been quite some time. I suppose I need to get used to seeing His Highness without my brother by his side. After all, by this point, the 7th Armored Division is... What? Hmm. What's the matter? Is this site not a pleasant one for you? Yeah, it's true this isn't very fun for me. How come Speaker McDowell isn't with them? Huh? Who? Somehow, I figured Elise would be there too. 
Wow, both from her and the princess have become even more beautiful than last time I saw them. Yeah, they really have. But I wonder why I wasn't able to contact her. Hey, are you going to meet up with Chairman Arena? I won't, but Sharon will be. Once I am done here, I'm planning to accompany the chairman for the remainder of her visit. All I can do is sigh. Operation Birdcage. It's too weird to even say out loud. To be honest, I may have taken the Intelligence Division and Railway Military Police a bit too lightly. Is there really nothing we can do? Nah, don't give up, Tio Tot. I'm sure we'll find something. Randy. No telling how things will end up, but let's bet on them for now. Roger that. Oof. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Two PM. Are we still gonna be here? Yep. Oh, so they're departing. Afterwards, Alyssa, Tio, and Sharon said their farewells to Reen and the rest of the camp and headed back to Crossbell City. Aww. Tio and Randy left to go to work on each of their classes field exercises. Goodbye, Sharon. Thank you for all the information. Alright, let's get going. Make sure to check your equipment and buy anything else you might need before we head out. We should have time to make round in the city before we head out into the East Highway. Oh, sure. Understood. Hey, I'll see them. What's going on with these two? I have no idea. They started acting like this when we were watching the inspection team arrive. Is that so? I suppose they each have their concerns, but... Okay, Class 7, we're now resuming our special ops missions. We still need to investigate the cryptic appearance off East Crossbell Highway. This is how long the, t the trip there and back will be will take. It'll, it'll be our last activity for the day, so maybe anything else is wrapped up before that. Right. We'll give it our all. Then let's go. Alright, character note from Sharon. Let's go to Crossbell City. Oh, if I go to the station, is it immediately going to trigger a cutscene? The pantagruel sticks out no matter where you're standing. It must be visible from all of Crossbell. Yeah, apparently. Station Street. Ah. That's still the Pantagruel. The Pantagruel, we saw from the highway. Hmm. <laughs> it feels like it's up there looking down on us. I suppose it's just going to stay there for duration of the inspection. It's most likely to be for the airport to accommodate. I heard that airport lanes are to be expanded to 250 arch throughout the Empire. Huh? Does that mean... They must be planning to use more airships of that size. Or maybe airship carriers is a better t term. Anyway, let's head... Let's check the city as well as... As we head to the East Road. My bad. Understood. Let's go, Yuna. Alright. Yeah, they're in a funk. Did I say too much? Well, we can't really avoid it. The annexation really has brought a number of problems into relief.
The screen cars are being withdrawn. They remind me of when the annexation was announced. Though the faces back then made me much more nervous. The last time I saw Princess Elephant was the medal ceremony of the Northern War. War. She's become even more beautiful. Looks like Prince Oliver is doing well too. And... It's been four months. Or she became the student council president. She's all grown up. I didn't think she would be coming with them though. Be careful, Reen. What's wrong with you two? Ah. Uh. Oh, um... Sorry, that broadcast. It felt really strange to not see my brother there. Ah. Uh. Yeah, Mueller. Prince Oliver's personal aide is Lieutenant Colonel Mueller Vander, right? Yes. I'm so used to see my brother at His Highness's side. But ever since last autumn... Kurt, I don't really know your situation, but... I was just, um, wondering... Why wasn't Speaker McDowell there to greet the inspection team? Uh. Crossbill's most famous politician. He used to be the mayor. He's currently working for the Governor General. He's in charge of overseeing the provincial le le legislature. Sorry. It wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't be unexpected to see him here as one of the local representatives. I'm just worried that he might have gotten sick or something. That's a good point. Both of you, just focus on your missions for on our missions for now. We beat the first cryptid thanks to Sharon's help. But if we encounter another one, we need to handle it on our own. If we aren't careful, it could kill us. Ah. Uh. Um. Good point. I'll focus on the here and now. Yeah, we can worry about the other stuff later. Let's get this done quickly so we can have some free time afterwards. Yeah, that's the spirit. Show me what you've learned in the last two months. <laughs> You're the one who needs to be careful. We weren't the ones standing around with our eyes glazed over, chuckling to ourselves. Hmm. I suppose he did seem a bit preoccupied earlier. I'm guessing he was thinking about Alyssa. Uh, well... No, I guess it was the two girls who were on screen. Princess Alfin and that dark-haired girl who was with her. After all, that dark-haired girl is the person Instructor Reem cherishes the most. Cherishes the most? That dark-haired girl. I've occasionally seen her with her highness before. <clears throat> well, she's my little sister. Sister? Through adoption. Adoption? <laughs> what? Isn't that shocking? Anyway, my sister's friends with her highness, so naturally I'm acquainted with her as well. It's been a while, so I was, I was glad to see them again. I remember you being more than acquainted with her. During the Civil War, you rescued her from the Pantagruel and held her tenderly in your arms. HELD HER?! Can we stop talking about the misunderstanding back in Trails of Cold Steel 2? Please? I thought we dropped that. Years ago. Please. Oh, and by the way, Instructorine wronged me twice. To be specific, he watched me sleep and he made me- Oh my god. Wait, what? Altina, well, stop. Don't say it like that. They'll get the wrong idea. Well, it's true. So that's the pro- What's the problem? Anyway, once we checked everything else, let's head out to the East Highway. Yeah, ideally we students would like to handle everything on our own. Altina, are you okay with that? 
I have no objections. Um, guys? Hey, Ali, hurry up or he's gonna do stuff to you again. I thought I'd be guarding Prince Cedric, but perhaps I should have been guarding Princess Alfin from a certain individual. Uh, what? Guys? Hey, um, I think you've... <sighs> Things haven't changed one bit. Still, I get misunderstandings. Out the ass. Great. What? Never mind. Life of Reen, the misunderstood, just continues. After that, Reen was able to clear the, the misunderstanding. I'll Tina admitted she'd been a bit misleading. Afterwards, they took a break and resumed their special ops mission in the afternoon. <sighs> Boy. Crossbell E Street. I think E Street is where I want to buy the stuff. Is this E Street? Yeah. Like I said, I just want to get everything done out of all the cutscenes out of the way. And then the last thing we'd have to do is just head out. Wait, where is the cutscene? Oh, it's East Crossbow Highway. Alright, bud, I'm going to leave things here then. I'm going to... Oh, hi there, Lind. I'm going to leave things here. And... I'm going to meet you guys in the next episode. A lot of information this time. A lot of information. We got to see Sharon's pass. So that's always good. Hey there, lady. I'm doing my outro. Please don't walk in front of me. All right. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, like and share. That always helps out. Subscribe to become part of Moonlight Army today. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.